Buongiorno, hello everybody. It's, I'm really happy to be here and I'd like to thank our friends at Dassault for inviting us here. Um, my name is Sini and I come from Tactotech. And today I will give you an introduction about Tactotech technologies. Our technology is called IMSE and IMSE stands for Injection Molded Structural Electronics. Uh, my personal background is in software. I'm originally a software major, um, but I've spent more than 15 years mostly in hardware business, in electronic product design and manufacturing, and test automation. At Tactotech, my team is responsible for taking the elements of our technology and developing them into product platforms that our customers can further use when they, when they are designing new user experiences for electronic devices. So IMSC, IMSC will change the 100-year-old components in a box approach, which was originated in the early 1920s when the first iterations of what we nowadays know as PCB were invented. But now we're in 2018, and I would like to take two minutes from the beginning and show you guys what we are actually doing at Tactotech. So we will see a short video on what IMSC is and how you can apply that for product design. Tactotech designs and produces in-mold structural electronics, solutions that combine high-quality decorative surfaces, printed electronics, and electronic components into thin, light, durable, three-dimensional, smart, molded structures. We serve leading global brands from our headquarters and manufacturing base in Oulu, Finland, and offices around the globe. Tactotech's core business is adapting customer designs into IMSE solutions and developing prototypes using lean, iterative development cycles into mass production ready products. Mass manufacturing can be done by Tactotech and licensed third parties. Teams of Tactotech engineers collaborate with customers to transform their traditional electronics and new designs into IMSE solutions. Each project includes mechanical and electrical engineers and technology experts for specific functional elements such as antennas and lighting. Tactotech has developed proprietary design and simulation capabilities that accelerate prototype development. All manufacturing processes are performed in-house on a vertically integrated production line, making design optimization fast and efficient. Printing decoration in electronics is the first manufacturing step. Surface materials, decoration and electronic functions are easily changed for cosmetic and functional product updates. Electronic components are placed on two-dimensional film using standard high-speed equipment that enables rapid mass production scaling. Sophisticated clean room operations enable consistent product quality. In thermoforming, the part takes on its three-dimensional shape. Formed IML films are injection molded, encapsulating electronics in plastics and creating a single part that often replaces multi-part traditional electronics that require costly electromechanical assembly. Products must often survive extreme environmental conditions. We validate product performance using environmental test chambers, measurement and analysis tools. Validated IMSC designs are ready for mass production. So there are three very important elements of IMSC technology. First one is that we can create electronic functionality on three-dimensional surfaces on three-dimensional contours. From a design point of view, it means that we are enabling the designers to create challenging form factors from geometry point of view. But from performance point of view, the fact that we are printing electronics and assembling electronic components very close to the part surface also improves the performance quite remarkably for, for example, wireless connectivity and touch controls. Second, we create an evolution to the, to the shape and build of products. We can reduce the part thickness up to 90% and we can reduce the part weight up to 
So this means that we are bringing tremendous benefits on not only the design and, and, and the form factors, but also on the tangible elements like packaging and shipping when we are really reducing the, the weight so remarkably in the parts. Um, as a comparison, I would like to show you an example um, from a car and compare the structure of an overhead control panel with traditional electronics and mechanics and then with IMSC. The traditional bulky structure is about 45 millimeters in depth and it weighs about 1.4 kilograms. It has 64 individual mechanical parts um, and that is excluding the, uh, excluding the PCB and the mounted components. So this is what we see in cars today. Pick any brand, pick any model. This is what we see today. Then when we look at IMSC, the same functionality but in a totally different form factor. Our part thickness is about 3 millimeters. Um, our part weighs about 150 grams and it has less than 10 mechanical parts. So this is a great example on how we are transforming the way we build electronic products today. Third, we create durable and reliable solutions on unconventional locations. So what you guys just saw on the video, um, the IMSC structures are fully capsulated ones, which means that they are fully protected from debris and moisture since we are injection molding the entire part. So our parts, they can withstand also rapid temperature changes and they operate um, by default from minus 40 to plus 80 degrees. We've actually uh, even boiled our parts in Finland in our lab. So boiling in about 100 degrees water and still they function after. So of course we are not just boiling parts every day. So I also wanted to give you guys a couple of examples from real life projects we have done with our customers to give you an idea how you can use IMSC in your designs. The first one, IMSC in a car, um, provides an example on how we can create electronic functionality on very um, space-limited locations. So typically, even though hardly anybody smokes in cars anymore, we tend to see a lot of ashtray covers and a lot of covers and lids all together. And a typical ashtray cover's thickness varies between 5 and 10 millimeters. And it's typically a dumb part. So what if you could integrate intelligence in the part? This is what we did with one of our customers. We took an existing part and we integrated electronic functionality on the surface. We've integrated um, printed uh, touch controls, illuminated icons and indicators, and a proximity sensor. So when the user is using the device, they will place their hand close to the device and it will start up. After that, they can adjust the air ventilation controls with the touch lighter and they can adjust the seat heating controls with capacitive touch buttons. So this is a great example of bringing life on surfaces and this is something that conventional electronics and mechanics um, fail to integrate with. A second example is from the consumer electronics um, side. Uh, typically, the challenge with wearable electronics, um, like the truly wearable ones, not the wrist devices we are wearing every day, is the wear and tear they undergo every day. Clothing has to be washed constantly. It's, it's usually worn under extreme conditions. So the structures have to be durable and reliable. So we took our IMSC wash and go material stack and we devel developed a smart connector for Suunto. Does anybody know a company called Suunto? Suunto is a Finnish company, uh, today owned by Amur Sports, and they are especially known for their diving watches. So you can check this out at um, movesense.com. Uh, Suunto Movesense is a smart connector that is attached to clothing, and it comes with an open software platform, so basically anybody with a need to track something that moves can utilize it. The IMSC part of this solution comes from the sub smart connector. So we developed and manufactured a fully capsulated smart connector which is integrated in fabrics, ski boots and um, other clothing materials, for example. 
The smart connector has a silicone chip inside and it's a fully capsulated structure and it provides important contextual information on the location of the sensor. Now, since we are using silver inks with high elongation values in our printing process, it means that our parts can withstand um, easily more than 10,000 twists and bends and more than 50 washing cycles in a washing machine. So this is the kind of durability and reliability um, the wearable electronics manufacturers are looking to achieve. Um, so clearly, we see that there's an evolution and it's happening as we speak. There's an evolution with the product design and how we design new user experiences and how we apply new technologies to achieve better user and consumer experiences. So from tech to tech, I think when we talk about sustainability in, in this event here, part of the sustainability to me too is sharing that information. So at tech to tech we are not just bringing this technology out as products, but we want to enable designers around the world to exploit our technology and uh, do that with the right material combinations, with the validated components and with the applicable design rules. So this is what we are doing with the salt systems today as well. We are not just using CATIA for our internal processes and design, but we are also collaborating and we are developing an IMSC designer add-on module to CATIA where we can bring our know-how into the hands of the designers and we can do so with familiar design tools. So, we're tech to tech our technology is called IMSC, Injection Molded Structural Electronics, and we will change the way electronic products are built today. I would like to thank you all for your attention. It was a pleasure to speak here today. Um, I hope to talk to you after. Thank you. Mm -hmm.